Hi guys, got a request from Dukey8668 to make a four-wheel drive car using only one electric motor. Well, I'm going to make a very simple one by recycling lots of parts from lots of my old cars. I'm going to use this plastic chassis from one of my old rubber band powered cars. Uh, it's actually plastic conduit I've used to make it, but that's just a convenient chassis. These wheels are sticky tape rolls that I put cardboard across so that I can put um, that's pencils going through the centre of there. I'll need to get that out so I can reuse them. For pulleys, I'm going to use these. These are the rollers from a printer. The electric motor, this is a stepper motor that's come out of a printer, I think, at some time or other. Uh, to control it, I've got this bought from China on eBay. It's a remote controlled, infrared remote controlled stepper motor driver. And to power it, I've got this USB power supply. So that's what we're going to use. And I'm going to put it together as quickly as I can. We're in the kitchen. Test run time. You may notice there's been a few changes since the original design. I've given up the idea of these wheels made from sticky tape rolls because they're a little bit small and also they're not in very good condition. The stepper motor I've actually changed to a different stepper motor which is very low geared and with those wheels the car hardly seems to move so I've swapped it out for some CD wheels from another one of my cars and it does now move it's still very slow because it's very low geared, but it is a four wheel drive car and it's a remote controlled stepper motor. So if we start it off, it'll be incredibly slow because it's on, I don't know if you can see there's a number one there. In fact, I'll just demonstrate, I can change the speed remotely with this controller. So we'll go right back down to 1, and you'll see it does hardly move. So we'll speed it up a bit. If you watch it compared to that line on the ground, you'll see it is actually moving. <laughs> but very slowly. Speed it up a bit more. A bit more. Oops, we've just lost a rubber band. I'll just turn it off a second, put the rubber band back on and go the other way. Okay, let's see if we can go in the opposite direction. <laughs> it is a bit slow, but I wanted to try out the stepper motor driver. It certainly works. Remote control works too. Excellent. 
except my rubber bands are a bit loose because it's just slipped another rubber band. Stop it again. again. Oh, it's the wrong way. So that's just a bit of fun. Four wheel drive because I was asked to do four wheel drive but an infrared remote control stepper motor driver. And you've probably noticed another rubber band's fallen off so I obviously didn't use the right sort of pulleys because they haven't got big enough rims so the rubber bands keep slipping off. But I'm going to claim that as a success because it's the first chance I've had to use this remote control. That's quite fun. put a link to where I got the remote control from in the video description. So there we go. Job done.